talking about in the last segment about private universe and family right. universe, which really reminded me of going on vacation. And we were on vacation and with the whole family, and there was a family sitting next to us at the pool, and there were four of them, two adults and the two kids, and the kids were preteen, teenage, teenagers. Okay. The mom was reading her iPad. The dad was over, like, on the phone doing business. And both kids, one was texting and the other was playing a video game. And it was so, um, such, like, it just reminded me of that whole private universe. And you're on vacation, you're on a family vacation, and you're not even spending any family time. And so you, it happens. And I think that sometimes we, we're not even cognizant of it happening. Well, that's because we see everyone doing it. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And so it struck you probably because you guys didn't have those things at the pool. We don't allow them. Right. So they're yeah. supposed to be sunning, talking, swimming, playing. Yes. And being a family. And right. having that family universe time and being a family and being engaged and being present. And I think that's what happens is that we're more engaged sometimes with somebody who's at the other end of the telephone than we're engaged with the person who is sitting next to us. Then we're engaged with our husbands or our kids or our friends or family that we're out to dinner. You know, I just think it's, I just think it's something that we all need to be aware of. Right. I need to be aware of it because we're busy working, you know, busy on the phone and Right, and it's tough during the week because we're in work mode and they're in school homework mode. Yeah, I and know. We just, and then we stop maybe at 8 o'clock at night or 9 o'clock. We just shut it down, but that was a whole day of it. Yes, and but I, also being aware that this is how this generation communicates. And so you yeah. don't want to stop them from communicating, but maybe communicating so much. Yeah, I don't know. Or, if I, I think we're going to learn a lot about the technology that our children have access to, especially phones and texting, we're going to learn about it in hindsight. Yes. And we'll have to regroup because I don't think any of us really know what to no. do with it. Hindsight is 2020. Yeah. And so we will get that 2020 perspective in years to come. So in the meantime, so this is why we talk about these subjects because these are subjects that moms talk about and that's what this show is about. It's about moms in business. So we can't just talk about business all the time because that's not reality. The reality is that we are a business show, business lifestyle and making money show for moms. But at the same time, we're also about how all of the topics that affect our lives, affect our kids, affect our families and friends and how it all gets woven in. It's, it's crazy. It's, it's so much responsibility and just so much to do. But it's I'm, a good thing. It's, it's awesome. It's awesome. I mean, I love my life. I, I call it transitions. You know, I transition from the morning, you know, with the kids, getting them off to school is a transition. Coming to work with you and doing the show is another transition, which I love. Mm -hmm. And then I get to, you know, a few minutes of running errands if I need to, and then go pick up the children. That's a new transition for the day. So. I don't regret or resent any of those transitions during the day, mm -hmm. but I will say, even when I'm working, I'm, my children are part of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, children are a part of our Every lives and they single, part of the fabric. Right, and so that's, I think, what I don't, Heather and I don't believe in balance, because how can you balance something that is constantly moving? It's a moving target. It's a moving target. We always target. talk about do that Keanu Reeves movie in Matrix when he's kind of dodging the bullets and that's kind of what being a mother is, is just kind of making sure that you don't get completely off balance though, making sure that you don't fall on your face. And that's what we're really trying to make sure you don't fall on your face. <laughs> Forget balance, just don't fall on well, your face. And you know what, I think we're so hard on ourselves as moms, especially I am, where if I forget one thing, like the other last week, busy with work. I, I knew I was supposed to drop my kids lunch off. I remembered at pickup. I looked at my, I looked Your at Portia. kids that were coming out of school and they're <laughs> dragging and they're, no, no, they fend for themselves. I'm telling you, I don't know how they did that, but they. Hey, you want those chips? Yeah. Hey kid, you want that string cheese? I'll take that. But they do, you know, the kids. And I just looked at my youngest daughter and I'm like, I can't believe. I forgot their lunch. Forgot everything. But That's what happens. I, I may have accomplished a lot of wonderful things for them during the day, but I forgot that one thing. And that's what they remember. And I just, <laughs> they beat me over the head with it, and I do as well. You know. Okay, so we've talked about some of those kind of family issues and kid issues and all that kind of stuff. Now let's talk a little bit about business. And um, 
this is kind of an introduction to the new season that we're going to have. We're also going to be throughout the season of Mom's Town talking about is it a business or is it a hobby? And big this is a big distinction, especially when you're a mom, especially when you're working from home, and especially when you're trying to turn your passion into profits. Right. And hobbies are passions. And so when do you make that transition of when your passion becomes profitable and when you make that distinction between when is it a hobby and when is it a business? And um, that's one of the things that we're, oh, lady in the blue shirt with the sparkly stuff. Sparkly. You like to say something? <laughs> Shock. To me, seriously, <laughs> let me talk, let me talk. No, I think with a distinction for me with hobby to passion, if a hobby is the amount of work I put into it is always keeps me passionate. A business is when you're passionate even when you're doing the mundane and the stuff you don't want to do. Even taxes? Taxes, yes. Do you, you know what I mean? No, I know, I, I think know. people quit hobbies when, the, when they have to do stuff they don't like to do. But if someone's in a business that they're passionate about, it's proof you in the quit. pudding. You don't quit because you have to do, you have to take out the trash, you have to clean the restrooms, you have to, you know, do the paperwork. Right. And you're wearing all different hats. If you're not quitting, that means you really are passionate about your business. So then what needs to take place is that you're making, you're working smart. And that's a really hard thing when you're working from home because you can feel like you're working all over the place and you get distracted by the laundry or you get distracted by, you know, going to the grocery store or running errands or things that you need to be doing. Maybe you're getting distracted by our show. <laughs> exactly. That's okay. That's okay. Stay, stay distracted. Just, 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 well, you know what? Here's another thing about the laundry. Those mundane activities that we do in the house, doing dishes and laundry, that's sometimes where I get my best ideas. Well, vacuuming is vacuuming. when you're, you know, and all of a sudden it's just, but here's the thing, because you're not in the stress of the moment. Right. You're allowed to just be kind of free and it's just mindless. And sometimes when you're open and free of stress is when really great things come to you. Right. So that's what this show is about. And I think we need to go back inside because even though it's spring, it's starting to get just a little, little tad chilly. chilly. Okay. okay. <laughs> we'll be right back. Stay with us.